Hi, welcome to the Fitness on the Run Show. My name is John Hamm and my job is to use my 18 years as a competitive athlete and my last 10 years as a personal trainer to get you healthy and keep you healthy. Because health and fitness is a journey, not a destination. Got to keep working at it. Alright, so today we have a few articles for you today that we're going to thumb through and try to make sense of. The first one being that couch potatoes are at a higher risk level of getting heart problems than people that do not spend over two hours to four hours a day on the couch sitting. Or just sitting in general. That could be sitting watching TV, or sitting playing video games, or sitting at the computer. The study shows that if you spend about two hours a day on the couch, you have a 48% greater chance of having a cardiac event than had you not. The study also shows that you have a 125% greater chance of having a cardiac event if you spend four hours or more on the couch or playing video games or watching YouTube, unless it's me. How do we make sense of this all? Well, you know, to me it's all about lifestyle. Chances are the people that are sitting down that they study that are getting these heart attacks or cardiac events over two to four hours are probably eating butter popcorn and ho-hos. They are probably not just getting off a bicycle ride and taking a breather uh, watching golf for the rest of the day, which is fun to do and probably healthy to get some rest. So basically, it doesn't mean that you are going to die if you watch TV for two hours to four hours a day. It just means that you have to balance it out. I wish they would say that in these articles, but that's just me. Moving on. Another study shows that people that exercise five or more times a week got fewer and less amount of colds than the people that didn't exercise as much or at all. So exercise does improve your immune system. Imagine that. So, exercise five or more times a week, 20 to 30 minutes, at least a brisk walk, they say in this study. Five days a week for 30 minutes will help. Interestingly enough, the study also showed that the cold symptoms lasted 43 to 46% fewer. They got better quicker from exercise as opposed to not exercising at all. It doesn't mean go kill yourself. It just means get a walk in 30 minutes a day at least, even when you're sick. You get better faster. And the people that felt the fittest had 41% less severe symptoms than the people that didn't feel good. So feeling good is really important for you healing and staying healthy. Imagine that. Our last study shows that exercising outdoors as opposed to indoors gives you a better feeling of mental and physical well-being. This study shows that compared with exercising indoors, exercising in natural environments was associated with greater feelings of revitalism, increased energy and positive engagement, together with decreases in tension, confusion, anger, and depression. It also shows that people that exercise outdoors are more likely to continue exercising outdoors because it makes them feel good and they like to be outdoors. It's just natural to want to do that, I think. As opposed to going to the gym, being surrounded by a bunch of dirty, stinky, old people. Not that anything's wrong with that. Just saying it's more fun to be outdoors in nature. There's got to be something good about fresh air. For me, I like to go mountain biking outside. I like to paddle surf. But if you can't do that because it's winter and it's cold, still exercise indoors. It's still important to get your exercise in, even if you can't do it outside. Unless you go like snowshoeing or I don't know, what do you guys do? I guess I should know. Skiing is good. You can go skiing. Cross country ski to work. I don't know. Anyway, still keep exercise. Which leads me to our question of the week. What is your favorite activity to do outside for exercise? For me, it's probably mountain biking or stand up paddle surfing. It's kind of a toss up. I like them both. Both are good, both provide different health benefits, but what is yours? I want to know. Leave a comment below. I will put also the links to all the articles below so you can read them yourself. Let me know what you think. And uh, be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash fitnessontherun. My name is John Hamm. I will see you next Wednesday on the Fitness on the Run Show.